the U.S. president on the defensive, Donald Trump downplaying the risk of coronavirus, noting on Twitter that last year 37,000 Americans died from the common flu. It averages between 27,000 and 70,000 per year. Nothing is shut down. Life and the economy go on. The president seemingly frustrated that markets in the U.S. and abroad were reacting negatively and dramatically to COVID-19. Making a rare appearance at his task force's daily briefing, Trump said he'd be helping working Americans. We are going to be asking tomorrow. We're seeing the Senate. We're going to be meeting with uh, House Republicans, Mitch McConnell, everybody, and discussing a possible payroll tax uh, cut or relief. We're also going to be talking about hourly wage earners getting uh, help so that they can uh, be in a position where they're not going to ever miss a paycheck. Trump said he'd announce more details about his economic relief plan on Tuesday. Meanwhile, a small number of U.S. lawmakers announced they were self-quarantining. They all attended a conservative conference near the Capitol earlier this month. At least one person at the event, whom they all met, had tested positive for COVID-19. One of the lawmakers, Republican Matt Gates, wore a gas mask on the House floor during a vote on the coronavirus response package, seemingly mocking the Democratic-led body's efforts. And one of the lawmakers, Republican Doug Collins, flew with the U.S. president on Monday on Air Force One, Trump walking off without answering questions from reporters about his own possible exposure. And at the same time, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control is urging Americans to make a plan. Stock up on groceries and medications and be ready in case they need to be quarantined. So far, no indication from Washington that it's preparing for a mass quarantining of Americans. For now, the Trump administration says it's focusing on containment, namely protecting the elderly, specifically at elder care facilities, and getting testing kits to those who show early symptoms. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.